I'm Tom Demmer, state representative from Dixon. Uh, and as Representative Bourne just mentioned, uh, all across the state of Illinois today, families are feeling an increased burden because of the rising costs due to inflation, due to supply chain disruptions, and due to the high taxes that Illinois uh, families uniquely deal with, even above and beyond what families across the United States are dealing with. As legislators, we have the obligation not just to look at the financial health of the state government budget, but also to think about the financial health of family budgets and the constituents that we serve, the financial challenges that they face, and do whatever we can to provide some kind of relief for them when unique and uh, unexpected changes happen, like this recent surge in inflation and some of the supply chain issues that are driving prices higher and higher for some of the daily staples that are required for a safe and healthy life. That's why today uh, we're proposing a up to $400 refundable tax credit for Illinois taxpayers all across the state. Our proposal mirrors some of the financial aid that was given by the federal government in the last couple of years. In that our proposal would call for single filers up to $75,000 in income to receive $200 joint filers up to $150,000 in income to receive $400, and head of household filers up to $112,500 in income to receive $200. We expect the overall cost of this proposal to be about $1.4 billion. And of course, the question comes, well, how will we pay for it? And the reality is we have a few options today. The first is to consider the uh, COVID relief dollars that the state of Illinois received from the federal government. We received over $8 billion in federal uh, COVID relief funds over which the state has significant control and authority. Uh, during this year's budget, uh, the Democrats in the legislature thought it was wise to include a billion dollars of member initiative uh, capital projects in Democrat only districts using some of those limited COVID relief dollars we received from the federal government. We think it's fair to question the wisdom of using that especially considering only two years ago, Illinois enacted its own capital bill. And within the last month, the federal government has enacted a, a capital bill as well. We could repurpose those dollars away from capital projects that are not related to COVID and instead direct it to taxpayer relief for families in every district, in every part of the state of Illinois. We also can consider using uh, an additional revenue that's coming into the state. Within the last month as well, the governor's office of management and budget revised upward the projected revenues the state will collect this year by $1.7 billion. That means we're bringing in $1.7 billion more than expected. Given the current dynamics and the pressures that Representative Bourne talked about facing families across Illinois, we should direct some of those dollars back to taxpayers to provide relief and to help their budgets and not just be concerned with the state government budget overall. This would be uh, just a small uh, token of what we can do to provide relief for taxpayers. $400 won't make all the problems go away, but it could have a positive impact. It could be an extra week or two of groceries. It could be an extra few uh, utility bills. It could be the difference between being able to uh, buy new shoes or a new winter coat for your kids. We need to do something to show taxpayers that as we're considering uh, the, the state of Illinois economy, the state of state government budget, we're also considering their budget. And for the first time in many years, making an initiative that would direct tax relief to every family and individual across the state of Illinois who really needs it. 